Yo, what's good guys, it's Jidel, and welcome to a new series. The series is called Shoe Design Lab. Once a month, we're gonna be trying to make the perfect version of a themed shoe. This month, it's October, we're gonna be trying to make the ultimate Halloween shoe. And if we can't make the ultimate Halloween shoe, we're gonna get as close as we possibly can. The way this series will work is we're gonna take a look at some of the best shoes of this type. So this month, we're gonna be looking at the best Halloween shoes, taking the aspects of what shoes we like the most and trying to put them all together to create the ultimate shoe. Now for Halloween, I think the first question is, are we doing a Halloween shoe? Or are we doing like a fall, you know, pumpkin wheat themed shoe? There's different takes on it. In my opinion, the best Halloween shoe is the Nike Off-White Blazer Hollows Eve. Kind of has like a wheat toned main, you know, upper with the, you know, bright orange swoosh, kind of like the pumpkin color. You got the wheat color. It's more reminiscent of like fall, the season, than Halloween itself. Me personally, I like this take on the shoe. The Shoe Surgeon did a shoe just like it. This is his take. He did a Jordan 1. Basically the exact same with kind of the orange swoosh going over the sole. I like the way this shoe looks. This one is made with Python, but these shoes are pretty much the same. One is a Blazer, one is a Jordan. Another really famous Halloween shoe is these Freddy Krueger Dunk Lows. I really like this shoe, kind of has the Freddy Krueger sweater. I don't know a lot about the character, but I do like kind of the blood splatter effect on this shoe is really cool to me. Here are LeBron Friday the 13th. They did the blood spatter more with like an airbrush type of feel to it. In terms of airbrushing versus dripping it on like this, I think I'd rather go for the drippy look. Next up are these uh, dunks that at the time of recording, these haven't come out yet. I like this thing being painted. We're probably, I'll try to have a custom design on mine. I like this kind of pumpkin guts and seeds. That looks cool, but that's a minor detail. Honestly, no one sees the inside of the shoe like that. Next up, we got these foam posits. Not in love with these, but the back of them is actually this kind of jack-o'-lantern design with candy corn eyes. I'm gonna avoid candy corn being a part of my design. I just don't like candy corn, but I do like the jack-o'-lantern design. I think what I wanna do is have the swoosh be like a jack-o'-lantern. Here's another interpretation of a Halloween shoe. This is more of a Day of the Dead theme. This is by The Hey Man. These shoes are pretty cool. The skeletons are actually embroidered onto the leather before the shoe is put together, which is, honestly, the shoe is super sick. What makes this shoe super cool to me though, more than anything else, is the soles are completely custom on the inside. I would say the ultimate perfect Halloween shoe would have a cool custom sole like that. I don't have the tools to create that or the time. So sadly, we're gonna have to settle for not making the ultimate shoe because we're not gonna have these cool soles. But shout out to Hey Man, these shoes are, these shoes are sick. I'll leave his link down below in the description. Uh, the only shoe that I collected that we haven't looked at yet is these Jason Voorhees Dunks. Uh, I think these are terrible. I'm not a fan. Nothing about the shoe we're gonna take into account. So creating the ultimate shoe, we have to choose what shoe we wanna do. I've pretty much only done custom Jordans. And sadly, that is gonna continue. I do think I'd rather do a a blazer but so we are gonna roll with a Jordan another reason I am rolling with a Jordan instead of the blazer for two reasons one Jordans are a lot more comfortable they're wider and two they don't actually sell like men's blazers at like Foot Locker or Champs anymore so we're gonna be doing a Jordan so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Sederma in Los Angeles kind of browse the leathers find our wheat toned leather bring it back here start working on some of our designs I just got done shopping from inside to Derma. I got two different kind of wheat toned leathers. The big thing for me was being able to use both the flat side and the suede side. On this one, the color is good on both sides. On this one, the color is only really good on one side. So we'll see how I end up using them. I might only use this bigger one, but I got this one just in case I think it looks better with the orange. Um, also got a bunch of paints and threads. Now we're headed back to the house. So we are back from Sederma. I've brought my blazer to compare colors. As you can see, it kind of has the darker suede, brighter, that tone. This one is leaning a little bit more brown than I was hoping. This one on the suede side is pretty much the perfect color for our suede. I think there's almost too much contrast here. We kind of want that one tone with very minimal contrast is what we're going for on the upper. These two don't have a ton of contrast. We're gonna roll with just this piece of leather. This one, maybe we'll salvage for the liner, something like that. Give it some texture like that. So next thing we're gonna have to do is come up with a mock-up for our swoosh. So I've come up with some mock-ups for the swoosh. I'm not totally happy with them yet. Before you look at any of these, right here is the standard size off-white Air Jordan swoosh. It's a little thin. It's almost too thin to house kind of a uh, jack-o'-lantern on the inside. Here's kind of some jack-o'-lantern designs I rolled with. I've decided I don't want to do a black uh, eyes and mouth. I do want to go for more of the glowing jack-o'-lantern feel. Now the pumpkin lines to kind of give it the look of a pumpkin, that might be a little tough. I might have to do some actual paints on these to see what it's like. 
Also, here's a size comparison between the swoosh I've made and the actual off-white one. The one I made completely covers it, and then some. Another thing is we're gonna double side. So this side is the swoosh side. This side is traditionally the writing side. I don't have the writing on mine yet. I'm gonna do a double swoosh on this one, so both sides will be this kind of swoosh version of the shoe. There won't be any kind of text. I do like the text, but it's not really necessary for what we're going for with our shoe. So it seems like we know what we want to do with the shoe. It's time to start cutting out some of the leather pieces and start putting the shoe together. So we've cut out a lot of pieces. This is kind of what the base area is kind of looking like. Nice two-tone but similar colors, all wheat colors. The suede is looking really good on this thing. Just gotta keep cutting. The back of the upper has been assembled. Kinda gonna bend like this, you know. Still a lot of work to do. The top of this is gonna get trimmed off. I'm still undecided if I wanna do a pullover liner like a traditional Jordan or the double stacked kind of foam, like the off-white style. Um, not sure, I don't have to make that decision right away. I can pretty much do a lot of this shoe first before I have to make that choice. So right now we're gonna sew along here. Get this on, and this, and then sew along here to get this on. All right, most of this shoe is sewed together. I made a huge mistake. I actually put the heel counter, basically support on the back of the shoe, glued it straight onto the back. I just saw this little nook, and I was like, oh, it'll fit great in there. I'm gonna be able to scrub the glue off, just gonna do that a bit later. The swooshes, I painted them. I did not <laughs> record me painting them, figured it wouldn't be too exciting. I don't think I'm gonna sew them on traditional off-white style, I think I'm just gonna sew along the edges. I'm also simplifying the design to a two-tone design. I think they look really good with the simple kind of just yellow and orange. I'm really liking the way the colors are coming out. So right now I'm gonna put some finisher on the swooshes, I haven't done that yet. While those dry, I'm gonna start cutting out the tongue sewing together the toe area, and yeah, this thing is almost done from the upper standpoint. All right, swooshes are on. They actually look really good. Again, I went with the more simple design. I ended up going with the off-white style stitching because I realized once the shoe is tied, I don't want the swoosh to bend back kind of over like that. I also didn't really want it too low. And now comes probably my, nah, this is like my eighth least favorite part. Just, I don't really like this step. Punching the shoelace holes, you literally just put this thing on and smack it with a hammer. But it does make nice clean holes. So now I'm gonna hole punch the rest of the shoes. The shoes are in sewed together form, but obviously they don't have their shape yet, but the, it just looks really good. Really liking the way they came out. They look clean. Obviously we're not done yet. It's time to give them their shape. This is where everything can get messed up. We're about to last. I'll see you all in 20 minutes. The boys have their shape. They're looking so good. So excited to almost be done with them. I have been working on these shoes all day the last two days. I intended to do this over the course of a week. I was, you know, I gotta be responsible, get my videos. I was like, no, plowing ahead with these shoes. Gonna try to get the soles on right now. Gonna try to finish them within a few hours, which would be kind of crazy to make a whole entire pair of shoes, plan out everything and literally like, 36 hours worth of time. See if I can do it. For some reason, audio didn't record in the following clip, but basically I tied the shoes together and prepped them for the oven. Once the sole is glued onto the shoe, you have to kind of reset the glue in the oven. So I'm throwing them in the oven. And yeah, guys, that's the story about how these shoes came to be. Uh, you can see they're dirty. Before I wrap up the video, I do want to apologize. I just got done editing and I'm really realizing the lack of footage I captured. Um, when I originally planned this video out, I really wanted to capture a lot of footage, go really in detail into the creation process and everything. But I ended up having a time crunch because I had a trip to New York planned and I really just got kind of consumed in making the shoe, really working on it as hard as I could. Um, I've been wearing them everywhere. They're, I love this shoe, the shoe's awesome, super comfortable. So again, I apologize for the way this video might have turned out. It definitely could have been executed better on the video side. At least the shoes came out great, they're awesome. Albeit very dirty now that I've worn them a lot. But I mean, I got the glue off the back, so that's a plus. Uh, nonetheless, the next time we do a video like this, it'll be a lot better. Also, drop your ideas in the comments below for what kind of shoe we should make next. Obviously, next month is November, which is Thanksgiving, but I'm not really interested in a Thanksgiving shoe. I don't find Thanksgiving that cool of a holiday. I don't even like eating turkey. I find it to be the worst meat. So I'm not interested in making a Thanksgiving shoe. 
An idea I have is deconstructing Adidas shoes and trying to remake them as if Off-White did a shoe collab with them. I think that could be a lot of fun. But I'd rather see what you guys have to say before I go ahead with that. Another thing I'm really gonna ask you guys is please subscribe to the channel. I know I say, I know you're watching, I know you're not subscribed. I have the data to back it up. I think like 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot if you could subscribe to the channel, guys. We're gonna make more shoe videos like this. And we're not only gonna be doing shoe videos. I kind of was looking back at my channel last month and I'm happy to be kind of going in the direction I am. But I might tone down the shoe videos just a little bit because I don't want my channel to just be very, I guess, materialistic. Although I do really like the creative side of what I'm doing. But yeah, guys, again, Leave your thoughts below on this shoe, what type of shoe we should do for next month's shoe design lab. Obviously in December, we're gonna do some holiday themed ones. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. I don't care about the likes, but please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And before you go, make sure to check out the two hype upload from this past Saturday where we worked with Team Trees and Mr. Beast. We donated a few thousand dollars to that. Um, we, we did that through a competition that ended up being a lot of fun at a seaside mansion. Very cool video. I highly encourage you to check that out. Peace.